Uh, I'll see you guys next week for more tips and tricks Thursday. Huh, just now when I do the intro, I never see tips and tricks Thursday. Ah. Uh, okay, lah, later I just edit on tips and tricks Thursday. Tips and tricks Thursday. Tips and tricks Thursday. See you next week. Bye bye. Okay, hello everybody. Okay, as you can see, I'm going to show you how I'm going to clear all this mess and, and organize them in a storage box. Okay? Okay, hi. Uh, I'm not going to detail. I'm going for storage to see which storage box is good for me to store all because okay ha, I come here today Abang lah Abang say hi Abang <laughs> okay so I'll see you again inside and then I'm going to come home Okay, hello. I didn't manage to record any video inside IKEA because it's very crowded even during this pandemic. It is super crowded so I got no time to record. I just quickly grab and go. So I actually bought this uh stoop box in pink color. It's one is for shelf 90. I bought two and the size is 71 cm by 51 cm and height is 18 cm. Okay, this is uh just nice. Perfect uh leave fit under my bed. So, yeah, let's get started. Hello, everyone. Okay, so this is the outcome of um, how I already packed all the mess. Huh? All my clothes, huh? I ordered online. Huh? You know, during the circuit breaker, we always watch. You know, like, I actually, me la, me la. I always watch IG Live. Uh. I'm very guilty that I buy so many. Le. Then I beat, 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 beat. Uh, live Facebook, live sale. Uh. Now I've got no space for my uh, new arrivals all. So I'm gonna show you these two big bag. They are very big, right? They are by 71 by 51 by 18 cm. The height is 18 cm long. And if you got extra storage in your wardrobe, you can always put this in your wardrobe, or else this can go under the bed. Okay. So let me just show you the inside. Okay. What I did was okay. Okay, these are all the clothes that arrange them okay so the some tips for you to arrange your clothes it's best to arrange them in colors doesn't matter lah if you have dress huh if you have sexy top lah or if you have mini skirt or uh, just follow them by colors don't put like mini skirt one side then dress one side uh, it will look very messy not organized the goal here is to organize your clothes right so best is to go to organize them by colors so uh, doesn't matter if you have your a mini skirt black color and then uh, other mini skirt pink color just put them according to color tell me you don't know like like this you take one and you don't know what is this sure you know right you sure recognize your clothes right uh, unless it's not you buy one lah it's a present lah then you don't recognize lah but now you see this one you already know this is the dress even though i put this oh you can see my pink i take this one i know this is a sweater and then this one i know already this is a cardigan so you should know right it doesn't have to be like cardigan cardigan sweater sweater like that how leh then you have one piece of cardigan then you have one piece of sweater then one day one day just put it all in everything in color lah very easy so you see i don't know the white and then color tone Follow them by colors, whatever color you want. Go ahead, and then I have more here. Okay, I have them followed by the gray and then the black, and then from here onwards are my jeans. I have a lot of jeans, but the rest are all hanging in my closet. These are some that got no more space. Jeans, and all these are pants, and then all these are skirts, and I have a lot of long skirts. And they are also in my wardrobe. So these are all those extras that really got no space. And before this, I just chuck them. And you see in the picture before, previously, I just chuck them everything on my baby's coat. Oh, mommy very lazy. Eh. I don't know how to fold zip. Yeah, lah, mommy very lazy. You think I got so many free time? Eh. I got so many children at home. Oh, so, so that's that's how it is for you to organize. So also the way to fold them. Please ah, uh, don't fold, don't don't fold already, right? Don't don't let me just show you one example. Don't fold already like this, right? This is the Marie Kondo style. If you watch the Marie Kondo uh, organization tips, 
Okay, she fold it this way so it can stand. Okay, and then you already fold it this way. Don't put it this way uh, where you can see the mouth open. Uh. And then you put the mouth open on top. Uh, and then the mouth looking at you. Uh, and then very ugly. Uh, so you turn the other way around. Uh, so, you know, it's nicer, right? Nicer, right? The mouth don't look at you. So, you know, and easier for you to take also. Not very clumsy. Also very easy for you to take, right? So, fold it this manner. I can show to you. You get the idea first, like look at all your clothes and your mess and then if you need one box, get one box, if you need two box, get two box. Okay, and if you have two box, you can start by folding them first. Okay, how you want to start is you fold all of them first, Not just put in one empty box, anyhow not in colours. Okay, just fold first that so that you don't put on the floor later, you pile up, it will surely drop, topple and drop. So you put in one empty box first, you have two box, you put in one empty box first. And then from there, the colors all jumbled up, right? You end up put right then you take one by one and arrange by colors. So you know, it's easier for you to take and uh, move them away into the original box, into the box that you want them to organize. So you like... Jumbo everything ready here. You fold everything, just chuck them in all in one box first, then you organize them in the colors with the new box. Okay? So that way it's easier. You don't fold, 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 then put it on your floor, then go high, 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 high until high until like that. Then after that, everything drop, topple. You know what? And you kick, you lazy to fold some more. You know, and then throw back at the baby cord. Me lah. I'm talking about myself lah. I'm not talking about you all right. Okay, and then I saw this. It's very inter interesting because it's very cheap. It's only three ninety. Okay, if because for me, I want to put this under the baby cot actually because under my bed also no space. I already have box under my bed, so this goes under the baby cot. So that's why I choose pink. It looks nice, like nice and neat. Maybe you have a, a longer bed sheet that covers your bed, then you can get this and put under your bed. Okay, it saves money and also it helps to organize. Okay, let me just transfer everything. It only the only cons are there's no structure lah, so it is very flabby. So you have to get everything in in order to have that structure. So let me just get all my white shirt. There you have it, and then when you have more, I think you will hold the structure of the storage box. Okay? Okay, so the tips today is to arrange them by color. Doesn't matter if it's uh, blouse or tops or mini skirt, just arrange them by color because it's easier that way. Okay, and then one more thing is to fold them. Make sure when you fold them, the Marie Kondo style, make sure the mouth, the flap, face downwards so it's easier for you to take. And also, you can use this box to even store your bed sheets. You have lots of bed sheets. Uh, I'm actually going to use this for my bed sheets. And then you can put this under your bed for storage or inside your directly inside your wardrobe if you still have space. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I hope you <coughs> okay. So that's it for today's video. Uh, I'll see you guys next week for more tips and tricks Thursday. Huh, just now when I do the intro, I never see tips and tricks Thursday. Ah, uh, okay, lah, later I just edit on tips and tricks Thursday. Tips and tricks Thursday. Tips and tricks Thursday. See you next week. Bye bye. See you next week. See you next week. Bye bye.